Hello and welcome to a short tutorial on how to use Google Forms. Google Forms are very easy to use. This, step, this tutorial will demonstrate how to add, edit, move, and delete questions. When you create the form, it will open with one question blank ready for editing. You may type your first question into the box and then add the answers. When you have finished creating a question, click Done. If you need to make a change to a question, click on the pencil icon to enter the edit mode. When you're finished, click done. When you're ready to add another item, click add item. Notice that it automatically chooses the question type. To change that, you can click on the menu and choose a different type. The next question I will enter into the survey allows people to select multiple responses. So I will choose checkbox from the type of questions. Notice that with this type of question, I am also instructing my audience that they can select more than one option. You can copy and paste directly from your project document. Um, if you have the options as a list, they will paste into the spreadsheet or into the form as a list. If you want to give your audience the option to type in their own answer, you can click Add Other and it will provide that option. When you're finished, click Done. The other option is also available when you use multiple choice questions. Now I want to add a scale question. So I click on Add Item. I change the question type to Scale. And scale, the scale questions allow people to rate something from high to low. When using scale questions, you can change the range to provide people with more options. The scale lowest end needs to be 0 or 1, but the scale's upper end could be from 2 through 10. You should also define the high and low end of the scale. Defining the high and low end of the scale helps people understand the question and answer it truthfully. If you decide you do not want a question or you accidentally add a question that you don't need, you can click on the garbage can to make it disappear. If the questions are not in the right order, you would like um, this question above the other one, it's easy to click and drag it into the right place. Lastly, the survey is anonymous. Make sure that all of the boxes in the form settings are blank. Unchecking this option allows people from outside of school to respond to your survey. So if you share your survey with your friends or family outside of school, they can actually still see it. When your survey is ready, one person from your team should share it with your teachers and classmates. Click on the View Live Form button to see the form as your audience will. Check your work again and make sure that everything is correct. If you need to, you can go back and make changes here. And those changes will be reflected on your form. When you're sure it's ready, click on the URL and copy it. Go to the uh, Inquestas page of the project website and click on the link to send your form. Include first and last names for everyone in your, on your team. Choose your class period and paste the link in the space. Notice that it also wants you to paste a link to your document. Go back to your project work, copy the link, and paste it into the document, into the form. Click on submit. Only one person per team needs to do that. After you've done that, you can return to the project page you may need to click on the refresh button frequently to see the new links as they are added to the spreadsheet. Thank you for watching.